Friends, I'll tell you how my day went yesterday, and I'll give you a little hint that it went good for a while, and then it kind of took a real bad turn for a moment or two. I'll tell you about a new mystery item that I'm building, and a little more about some of our guests that are here. We'll get to that right after this. Hello, my friends. Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. It is Tuesday, May 30th. Tuesday reminds me that we'll be playing this evening at Dickie's Barbecue Pit in Rolla, Missouri. Unfortunately, Gary and Don, the guitar player and the bass player, will not be there again tonight. They're out camping at the Back 40 Bluegrass Festival. So it's going to be me and hopefully Beverly and hopefully Bill Pilliard and Leon Pruitt from uh, Defiance, Missouri. So there'll be four of us and we should be able to do just fine with that. If you're in the area and you can make it out, please come on by. We'd love to have you. Meant to tell you yesterday about our visitors from Italy. We have Matteo Della Corna and his family, uh, Julia, his wife, and his two baby daughters. The little girls, uh, of course, don't really speak much English at all, so it's really tough to uh, communicate with them, and uh, I'm afraid I'm scaring them a little bit because they don't understand me. <laughs> And it's been fun, but uh, they're, they're really having a good time here on the farm. They're loving the animals and uh, playing in the creek and things like that that they don't get to do in Italy. And so they're really having a good time. If it works out, I'll try to get them on camera uh, before uh, too long. I mentioned I'm building a mystery item. I'm just going to give you... Uh, maybe just one clue today, and that is that it has something to do with my sawmill. And here's the part that I've built so far. You can see this flat plate, and if you're wondering where this flat plate came from, well, it came from a saw blade, an old evolution saw blade. I just cut it up because it was beyond repair. And this is a brass ring, and I milled a step in this ring here that fits into something else. I've got a bolt pattern there where I screwed it together. So this fits into something else, and that's all I'm going to tell you right now. It has something to do with the sawmill. I thought I'd give you one more clue about this. I've already told you it is for the sawmill. The clue is that you can buy these already made, uh, and the price ranges are quite a bit. Uh, the, the cheapest I found was around $500. The Cadillac version is about $1,500. I'm building the closer to the $500 version. As things progress, I'll give you more information on it. And I am trying to make a video on uh, building this thing, so you'll eventually see it in a full video. But I want to keep it a mystery for now and let you guys just be thinking about what it might be. Well, I mentioned that I uh, did have a, a good day yesterday, but it did take a turn for the worse. I started power washing those big walnut logs. And oh my gosh, was it a messy job. Take a look at this little short, funny video. Does it look like I've been power washing stumps? <laughs> Does it look like I've been power washing stumps? Trust me, this is after I've cleaned up a little bit. <laughs> what a mess. Yeah, it was way worse than that. I had that same amount of dirt all over my clothes and all over my, and I had already just took a garden hose and just washed my shirt off and washed off my pants and stuff. So it was just my face that you saw there that was still uh, covered. Where it took a turn for the worse, just washing those logs off, was that I broke out in some sort of a um, allergy uh, reaction and I had it looked like I had measles all over my face. You can still see some of the dark spots here and under my eyes, but I had those everywhere. They were up in my hair and everywhere. I had these little dark spots. They looked like I had measles or something. I mean, just there were spots everywhere and it was burning. It was almost like something hot on your skin, almost. It wasn't quite that bad, but it was, it was not comfortable. I take a daily allergy medicine anyway, and I went in and took a, a an additional dose of a different kind of allergy medicine and within an hour or so the spots started going away but I still have some under my eyes and stuff so I'm not sure about that I hope they do go away too I hate to be left with those anyway I, I did get the uh, logs cleaned off so here's a couple of video clips on that
Well, does it look any cleaner? I sure hope so. Though there's still a few embedded rocks. See that rock right there? It's embedded in there. And there's more rocks embedded, like right here. But you know what? This is going to be more beautiful than I even thought. There's going to be so much curl and figure in this wood. I can't hardly wait to make something out of it. Two of the thoughts I have right now are making a couple of uh, gun stocks to replace a couple of plastic uh, rifle stocks that I have. These are hunting rifles. They're not the, uh, you know, assault rifles or anything. They're recreational type rifles. But it would be beautiful to make a handmade stock out of these uh, logs that I cut out of my front yard. And there could be lots of other things, maybe a couple of charcuterie boards, maybe a table. Uh, there, it could just be almost anything. So there will be a lot of projects to come, probably made from these walnut logs, especially this big boy here. Yeah, I'm kind of excited about working with those uh, stumps. I'm going to have to be very careful when I cut those because it's, it could easily ruin a blade in one pass. And I really don't know how I'm going to go about that yet. It's going to be just a trial and error process and how I'm going to saw those up. But I'm glad I saved them and I think it's going to be some beautiful wood. And if nothing else, if, I, if all I get out of is charcuterie boards, my daughters are in love with those things and they like to make them and they sell them and different things and give them away to friends and what have you. So I'll just make a bunch of those if that's all it turns out to be. But as I mentioned in that one clip, I'm thinking about making a couple of rifle stocks for a couple of my uh, uh, hunting rifles that I have. You know, just more or less for something to do and it'll be something that I can carve and make on camera and, and do a video on that as well. And I plan to make them really fancy and really nice if I do make them at all, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Well, I think that's going to be about it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you'll give me a thumbs up, tell your friends, and make sure you've subscribed. We will see you tomorrow. Yeah.